All right, I'm gonna be super honest with you all. Been having a bit of a freak out. Feels like my whole life is on the line. It's starting. The show is starting. Go on, kids. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> oh, 4 a.m. That's not good. But I'm going to New York for the world premiere of Use Me. Yeah, that's good. I gotta get up. It's a goddamn breakfast of champions. <clears throat> hmm. This will increase the view count. Oh god, that's good. I feel like I've woken up like Jack Torrance in The Shining. Wendy, love of my life! <laughs> Guys, this hotel even looks like The Shining. Kind of scared to turn this corner, I'm not gonna lie. All right, time to fly. Now, going to shoot with Patrick Colt, who's voted one of the best Instagram photographers in all of New York. Doing a little collaboration, and most importantly, I brought coffee. Oh my god, I need this shit. I'm gonna be taking my shirt off, which means when I'm done, I'm definitely having a giant bagel. Stand by for the footage of that bagel. Oh my god. The world premiere is tomorrow night. I am trying not to think of it every single second of every day. Luckily, my producer got tickets to The Late Show with Stephen Colbert and Network with Brian Cranston, so something nice to take my mind off it. What did you think, Jonathan Green? I'm mad as hell and I'm not taking this anymore. Right, that sums up exactly how I felt. That was the most fantastic show I've seen for a long time. That was it incredible. pretty much said everything I've wanted to be saying for a long time. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Cranston. All right, I'm going to be super honest with you all. I've been having a bit of a freak out. It just feels like everything has come to this culmination point after years of work. The stakes of it are really clear, and um, that's where I'm at. Oh my god, look who's coming. It's the cinematographer of the movie, Madison! Hey, hey. Have you ever seen a more beautiful beard? I haven't. Good to see you, buddy. I'm vlogging this week. Awesome. You're just, you're fodder for my content. Come in. Just had the pre-drinks. New York. Not a bad place to premiere. That guy looks familiar. Are you a movie star? Uh, apparently not, because they didn't even know I was in the movie when I went downstairs, so. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> you must have slept. How are you, Joe? People, I'm good, how are you? I'm good, you look very nice. Thanks, I'm excited. I'm excited too, are you nervous? No, not at all. How do you think the audience is going to receive it? I'm just not sure. Do you think it's divisive? I don't know. I don't you think know? so. I think it's a good movie. Thank you. And I seriously say, I say it with all sincerity. I think it's an interesting take with an interesting subject matter. I don't think it's divisive. If it's divisive. I don't think it's nearly as offensive as half the things that I do. Well, that is true. Yeah. I'll give you that. All right. I love you, buddy. I love you, too. Man. All right, man. <laughs> Sierra, how are you feeling? Uh, awesome. Super excited. You look nervous. No, I'm fine. Okay. She's fine. I'm just grabbing. Love you. You've done a great job. Hey. Hey, you've done okay too. Oh, see? That's nice from her. It's starting. The show is starting. We're about to get a massive influx of reviews, and I kind of feel like the fate of the movie is hanging in the balance. All right, so Jonathan and I just got back from the world premiere. Okay, I just got a message from our publicist. Yeah, what did you say? 
Oh. Right. Pop break. It's on Rotten Tomatoes. An engrossing thriller that blurs the line between fact and fiction. Both Shaw and Lynch give believable, effective performances. A film this good shouldn't be a dirty little secret. Nice. Nice. That's nice. Six out of seven reviews now have been positive. One of them amazingly positive. So part of being a filmmaker is you got to promote it. Let people know on social media. It's about putting butts in seats. All right, I just went to the gym because uh, I was up till 5 a.m. Reading reviews, reading people's comments about the movie, I was just wired, you know? I just couldn't bring myself to sleep. So I had to get some energy up for the screening tonight. It's a hell of a week. It's funny, on the outside it looks like a great success and everyone's kind of congratulating me, but I feel like I'm fighting for my life, which is crazy. I said that to my producer, he said, you're not about to die. And I said, no, but it feels like that. I feel like I'm fighting to make it in this business that I love so that I can have a good life and provide for my partner who I love so much. And that feels like my whole life is on the line. That's how much that means to me. I mean, that's why I want to be successful, you know, because I'm in love and I want to provide and I want to make something of myself so yeah it's just a movie but you know I feel like I am fighting to make it and live my dream so sometimes it's hard to sleep at night so one more screening tonight then I think I'll be able to have a proper night's sleep <laughs> going into the second screening hey Sierra Lynch Hi. oh my god it looks like a full house I'm excited here we go all right, guys, we've finished the run. I feel so much better. How do you feel? I feel really happy about it. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. I think we've got some great reviews, and that's really important for the film. And uh, I'm really happy that the audience seemed to love it. And it was a they great did. crowd, and they asked really smart questions. So it was a... Who's this fucking guy? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, kids. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> no, no, no. You got to pay for that. Buy pay for that <laughs> ticket to use me to see that. <laughs> Do you even know what a camera is? How did we make a movie if I can't <laughs> focus? This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm. Why you look better actually out of focus? You look. Great. <laughs> I was racked with anxiety the last few days. I couldn't sleep. I was up till four a.m. I was nervous because yeah. we've been doing this thing for years. Yeah, yeah. I feel so much better now. Oh, good. Yeah, good. that was great. That screening. Yeah, I feel it was really good. Cool. Yeah, it was different. The first night it was friends and family, and right. so like really supportive, but also like um, more laughter. Yes, which was like not inappropriate, but just like I think it was because they knew us. Exactly. Exactly. And this one, people seem like sucked into it. They like, were. Yeah, like they really, really quiet. Were. And I thought I was worried at first, but then like at the end, you heard people go, oh, you know, like audibly, you heard people gasp. They did. So it's really cool. So overall, we've given birth to this baby. Mm -hmm. And now... It's off to the world. Enjoy it, world. <laughs> But thank you for everything. It's been amazing. It's been such a great journey. Really has. You're awesome. You're awesome. Oh my She's a bitch. <laughs> <sighs> I feel like I can breathe again. Man. Now I remember why I do this shit. Fuck. What a relief. I'm gonna sleep well tonight.